hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lala Bello in case you didn't know now you know if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button now so in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to edit your pictures I'm actually gonna be working on two pictures the first one is gonna be a full picture of yourself like a landscape picture and the second one is gonna be um, a portrait picture like a picture of your face or something like a makeup picture like just basically portrait pictures so without further ado let's get into this video the first thing I'm gonna do is to start by going to facetune and this is facetune right here so I'm gonna go to, usually the first thing I do is I go to my picture I go to my photo gallery and then I just select the picture I want and I put it on favorite like the love button um, I mean the love icon right underneath the picture I just tap on it and put it on favorite so after doing that I just go to face tune and I go to the top right corner there's a part beside the icon that shows where you can export the pictures so I just click on it and it shows me like the album of my pictures and usually it's always on favorite because that is what I selected when I started using this is what is going to show but I always choose favorite pictures and that's where it always brings me to whenever I open my face chain. Um so I use face chain to actually so i select the picture i want and this is a picture i want to edit um i have a couple of pictures here but this so i'm gonna select the picture i want and mostly i don't do too much for a full picture on facetune so but then i just like to defocus i go to defocus i blow my background um so i choose auto and it automatically blows everything outside of my body like it doesn't blow my body it just blows everything outside of my body so i choose auto and i reduce it to whatever i want so i'm gonna reduce the slider to like 22 or 21 so this is before the blowing and this is after so it's already blurred my cap so i'm just gonna go ahead to like erase it there's like um an eraser to right there you just have to erase where it's blood and you didn't want to be blood so i'm just gonna erase my um my art and you know i haven't done that i think it's also blood the parts of my leg and i'm just gonna like adjust that Also, another thing I like to do on face chin is when I'm done with this, I'm just going to click on OK. So another thing I like to do on face chin is to like, um, usually I have clear knuckles. You see, my knuckles are clear. My skin is fine. But sometimes the effect of the picture actually like, you know, makes you have like dark knuckles or something like it makes some parts of your face like darker so what i do is i go to paint this is paint right here i go to paint and then i select a color from the grid on the right corner of the of the screen and then i just choose a color that is similar to my skin tone and i come over to wherever i want to lighten and then i just you see that i just you don't have to use too much of it i just tap on that part just tap on it because if you drag it it's gonna make it look too bright and you don't want that to happen we're only doing this because of the effect of the sun or the picture so this is before and this is after so you can just reduce the slider like so the effect of that is not gonna be too much you see this is before and this is after so once that is done I'm just gonna click OK and 
you know I'm gonna go to retouch and go to whiting I'm gonna whiten my teeth <laughs> so I'm gonna whiten my teeth and you know increase or reduce the slider depending on what you like <laughs> so I'm gonna whiten my teeth and you know sometimes I like to whiten my background especially if I'm if I take a picture inside my room you know the background is like white so I just whiten the background to just to make it you know more intensified but in this case I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna go to smooth now and I'm gonna smooth in my skin make sure you reduce the slider once you've done that it's really important because if you over smoothing your picture is gonna look too you know artificial like it's gonna look fake so the next thing I do is I go to details and I just I like to detail something I want attention to be on on my picture so I'm gonna detail my ads I'm just gonna drag it there I'm gonna detail my necklace so if you can check this is before the detail and this is after it i'm gonna zoom in really well so you see what i mean this is before the detail and after you see so this is my hat before the detail and this is my hat after you can also increase or reduce the slider you know but this is fine so once that is done like this is like the basics of our editing the main work is in Lightroom and that is where we're going to right now so now once once that is done we I just click on this icon on the top right corner of the screen and I'll go to more and then I'll go to Lightroom you have to install Lightroom on your phone if you don't have it then I'm just gonna click on launch Lightroom now this is the picture I edited last so actually mostly what I do is like I like to copy my presets and paste on a new picture so but now I'm just gonna show you guys how I do that you know from afresh and where is this picture uh, okay right here so the first thing I'm gonna do is to go to lights which is right here and I'm gonna change the exposure and I'm gonna increase it to like positive plus 0 90 if you check the top corner of my screen you see um, the, the figure changing you know the exact place I put um, the the slider so for you to know what point you use and then I'm gonna bump my contrast to like negative 34 like depending on what you like you know you just have to like work with it and you know do whatever you like with it and then the next thing I'm gonna do is the highlights so for the highlights I'm gonna change my highlight to like negative 21 or 24 you know depending on how you feel is good enough for you now I'm gonna do the shadows and for the shadows I'm gonna increase the shadow to positive 14 I'm gonna change the white and I'm gonna put it I think for the white I'm gonna reduce white because the already the picture is looking too whitish so I'm gonna change the white I'm gonna reduce the white totally like I don't need too much white for the picture I'm gonna change the black to like 34 like negative 34 or 35 usually I go halfway but this I'm just gonna leave it like 35 or 35. so the next thing I'm gonna do is to go to color color is right beside light and I'm gonna tap on color and this is where the main work is this is where it changes like the old you know color of the picture so the first thing we'll do is to change the temperature and I'm gonna give it like I'm gonna increase the slider and if I'm satisfied with whatever it is I'm gonna stop right there but for this let's say we'll use no this is too much I'm just gonna leave it at 12 and for the tint I'm gonna use um 
let's see so you you walk with it you know you walk with it you see the color is changing so whatever you like you you do so i'm just gonna leave it let's say negative 13 or 14. so the next thing i'm gonna do is to increase the vibrance the vibrance is gonna like it's gonna give you like your skin tone so i'm gonna increase the vibrance you can see that my skin is already changing so i think this is fine and i'm gonna leave it at like 43 and next i'm gonna do the saturation and for the saturation i i'll have to like reduce the saturation to like negative 20 or let's say 24 and next the next thing i'm going to do is to go to um the top right corner of the picture you'll see mix with a circle beside it just for you guys to identify it i'm going to post a picture of it so you guys can see so this is a picture of it so for you guys to identify here's a picture of it and tap on mix and then the first thing i'm gonna do for the red i think i'm only gonna do one thing for the red here and that is i'm gonna increase red to like i'm gonna increase the slider wherever you feel is good enough for you just stop right then so i think 18 is fine for me or 20 and you know i'm just gonna go right next to orange and for orange i'm gonna do you know like negative mm, okay let's do negative three for the hue and for the saturation i'm gonna go upward like i'll bump up the saturation to like you know i'm just gonna keep increasing the slider till i'm satisfied with the results so far so i think 49 is i mean 39 i i want to increase it more so let's do 49 or 50 yeah so 50 is good and the next thing i'm gonna do is to do the luminance and i'm gonna reduce the luminance to like negative 20 actually we can do more i think negative 28 is fine so next i'm gonna go to the yellow so for the yellow i'm gonna reduce the hue because there is enough yellow in the picture already so i'm gonna reduce the hue to like let's say negative 70 i can still reduce more of it actually let's say negative 90 or 91 and then for the saturation i'm gonna give it more saturation so it can pop my skin color a bit more so let's do 13 next i'm gonna go to the green i'm not gonna do anything for the luminance i'm just gonna like leave it right there so for the green i'm gonna like bump the hue and saturation like downward i don't think there is too much need for this and i'm gonna leave the luminance right where it is and i'm gonna go to blue and for the blue this is also called cyan so for the blue i'm gonna like leave the hue and i'm only gonna work on the saturation so i'm gonna bump it up to like 50. i can still do more on this picture i'm used to the figures because i've edited a lot of my pictures so with time you get used to it too so let's do like um let's say 60 yeah 60 is fine so for the next one i'm gonna reduce the hue and give it like 51 my last picture i think i used 51 for this and it's not actually bad for this too so i'm just gonna leave it at 51 so for the saturation i'll bump it up oh the hue is actually negative 51 so for the saturation i'm gonna bump it up and give it like 40 yeah 40 is not bad so the next one is the luminance and i'm gonna give the luminance like 40 as well and this is before so far this is before and this is after i think i'm gonna add more to the luminance yeah 52 is good so next i'm gonna go to um the purple so for the purple i'm just I'm not gonna do too much. I'm just gonna reduce the hue of and the saturation. And next, I'm gonna go to the last one, which is the pink, and I'm gonna reduce the hue. Usually, I don't do too much 
for the purple and the pink i don't do too much stuff so next i'm gonna go i'm gonna say done and next i'll go to have you subscribed to my channel yet if you haven't i'm gonna wait now for you to subscribe so subscribe to my channel subscribe have you okay let's continue <laughs> so effects and i'll just increase the texture of the picture this is gonna sharpen it a bit so i'm gonna increase the texture of the picture to like 25 or 30 and i'm gonna dehaze it to like let's say 19 19 is good so once that is done you're good to go this is like the lightroom presets kind of look you want to give your pictures you know like a lot of people like to use this kind of edits these days this is what we've been seeing and I actually like it you know so i thought i should like show you guys two like you know the lightroom presets so this is the before and this is after so it's really nice i like to do this and if you still feel like increasing the exposure you can increase the exposure for that but no this is good for me so i'm gonna save to camera roll so next time all you have to do is to like copy and paste it so if you want to copy it you just tap on the right corner copy settings and your next picture just paste it there so the next picture we'll be editing is like um a portrait picture of me is a picture that i have makeup on so first we'll go to face tune and when i get to face tune i'll go to <clears throat> my pictures and I'll tap on the picture I want to edit this is the picture I want to edit so the first thing I do is to go to defocus and I'm gonna defocus I, I use auto often and I'm gonna like bump it up and I think I want to defocus my ham as well because I want the focus to be on my my face not my body so that is done next thing I'm gonna do is to go to retouch and the first thing I do on retouch is to whiten I like to whiten my teeth <sighs> don't laugh at my teeth it's the effect of the picture <laughs> my teeth isn't this brownish actually so I'm just gonna like whiten my picture on my teeth and you know just whiten my highball as well and so you see I'm just zooming in just to like be precise enough and you know once that is done I'm just gonna whiten my highlights the the part I highlighted on my face like my nose bridge a little bit of my forehead and that is it you know for whiting so if you want you can increase the intensity of the whiting and you can reduce it but i don't really like to white over whiting my picture like it looks so fake and i don't want that to happen so um next i'm gonna white i'm gonna so i like to do this because um so next i'm just gonna like tap okay and go back to the retouch again and whiting my shirts because it's white and you know sometimes when you take a picture the effect of the camera or the lighting of the room makes the white things on your body or your face kind of a bit brownish so i'm just gonna whiten my shirts and my background and once that is done i'm just gonna reduce it a bit so it's not gonna be too much and now i'll go to i whiten my eyeball a bit more i just want it you know whitish enough so the next thing i'm gonna do is to go to smooth and i'm gonna smooth in like very few places on my face you know just smoothing the under parts of my face you see that and this part of my face you know my smile lines i'm gonna smoothen out my smile lines i'm gonna smoothen out my jaw a little bit 
be mindful of the parts you use highlights on you don't want to highlight um smoothing those places now i'm trying to smoothen the under area of my eyebrow and you know this is before and this is after so you don't want this smoothing to be too much you just have to reduce the slider a bit so the next thing i'm gonna do is um the next thing i'm gonna do is to go to details and i'm gonna detail my earring actually forgot to whiten it so i'm just gonna do that now back to detail i'm gonna detail my earring and this is the before and this is the after it's really important like so now i'm gonna detail my eyelashes and this inner corner of my eye my face highlights my nose bridge you see that this is before and this is after and i'm gonna detail my eyebrow a bit just the front part and once that is done i'm just gonna you know tap okay and then i'm gonna export to i'm gonna export to photoshop i'm gonna copy to photoshop fix i'm i'm gonna do just um two things there first i'm gonna heal this mark that is showing this is actually a brush strand so i'm gonna like take it out just tap on it and it's gone this is before and this is after you see it's gone and if you if you like you can just tap on those small um roughness on your face you know just to make it look just tap do not drag because if you drag it's gonna like disfigure the picture so you just have to tap to get the work done just tap on it and you get a very nice result just by tapping so i'm just gonna keep tapping on the part i want those roughness to go away from and I'm just gonna like you know so once that oh I forgot to like off my data so I don't get notification anyways so the next thing I'm gonna do once that is done I'm just gonna click OK and next I'll go to liquify and I'm gonna reduce the size of my nose look at me I'm trying to contour my nose right now so you go to width, reduce it, you see that, so this is before, I'm going to increase, this is before and this is after. My nose is automatically contoured. So this is before and this is after, like it reduced the size of my jaw. And you know, you can do so many things with that like you just have to play with it work around it now i'm just gonna like save to camera roll and now i'm gonna go to lightroom and <clears throat> when i get to lightroom i'm gonna um add picture add from camera roll this is the picture i'm editing so first thing i do is i go to light and then i increase or reduce the light depending on how i want the picture to look like so um i'm not gonna like increase the light here so the contrast i'm gonna mm, leave the contrast at five you know the exposure so i'm gonna leave the exposure at negative 20 um 0 0.26 and for the highlights i usually Take the highlight to the back so that's going to be a negative let's say like negative 59 or 7 so for the shadows i like to i walk around this actually i just take the slide up front and back to see what works best for me on this light um you know portion of the app so i'm just gonna like you know increase or reduce the shadow but for this i think i'm gonna leave it at 
positive 11 and then for whites i'm gonna like leave it at 14 and for blacks um i'm gonna leave it at um negative 20 yeah that's fine so for the color i'm gonna go to color and then i'm gonna change the temperature to like positive three and then the tint i'm gonna change it to like positive three two and the vibrance i'm just gonna give it like positive two of vibrance or positive 10 and i'll leave out the saturation i don't need saturation for anything so this is what we have before and this is what we have after like this is before and this is after so um the next thing i would do is to save export the camera roll so now the next thing i'm gonna do is i'll go to um beauty plus and when i go to beauty plus i'll just you know oh it's loading anyways i go to beauty plus and i go to photo editor my friend keeps texting me <laughs> i go to photo editor and then i tap on the picture these are the pictures at the bottom of my phone screen and you click on the right one because that's the one we edited last so i'll just click the only thing i do here is to smoothen out my skin so i'll go to smooth and then i'll just it automatically puts it at 50 but sometimes i feel like the 50 is too much for me so i'm just gonna leave it at let's say this is like really smooth but it's it's too much i don't like that so i'm just gonna leave it like 14 and this is before this is before using this smooth smoothing and this is after i'm not sure you guys can see but i'm gonna zoom it really well for you guys to see so this is before smoothing it and this is after you see the difference like the difference is clear so i'm just gonna save it and that is it like that is it so next i'm gonna go to snapseed and i'm just gonna click on um recent and i'm gonna click on this picture the the last picture on you know my gallery and i'm gonna go to looks um tools and i'll go to details so for the details um the structure you, you can either increase or reduce the structure i'm sure doing that alone you can see what the structure does so usually i like to give my structure like positive 10 or positive 5 you know depending on the picture i'm editing and then sharpening um i can either sharpen it and give it like positive 10 or positive 15 you know like i said it depends on the picture you're working on so i'll mark okay and then i go to tune image and i just walk around this i can give it like brightness of like positive four contrast of positive three you know saturation is zero i can i'll leave all of this out because i did most of the work in lightroom you know so i'm just gonna go to the warmth and i'm gonna give it like warmth of positive one that's it and next i'm just gonna go to portraits and for portraits i would smoothen the skin i can smoothen the skin whatever way i can so you can see like this is way too smooth like it looks so fake so i'm just gonna like give it a positive 15 for the smoothing and for the, it has eye clarity it's gonna make like your high shadow your high balls really clear like really sharp so I'm, I'm gonna leave this at positive 15 and that's it guys so this is before and this is after and i'm gonna export it and we are done 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 like done 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 so if you feel like you want to give your picture like um like more 
sauce or something i like to use konikam for that and i'm just going to go to konikam and select the picture i want i'll go to edit and i'm going to give it see there are different filters there there are different filters on konikam but you know you can use the app for whatever you want the only thing i do here is to give my picture like that vintage look and i go to dust and choose whichever dust i want but some of the dust you can't use them for free you have to upgrade to premium so i only use the free ones like i mean i don't actually you know so i only use the free dust and you know so this is dust three showing and then sometimes i like to give it a date and you know so this is not a big deal but you know sometimes you just want to add some sauce to your picture this is like this slider is to increase um it's to like increase or reduce the size of the dates and you know you can also rotate it in any form you want so that's about it guys and then you just save it you know save it save image and that's it guys so i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did if you enjoyed this video and you actually learned something from this video please hit the like button and subscribe sub subscribe yeah please subscribe because i want you to help me grow and you know so if you want me to do more of editing videos on this platform let me know in the comment section and i'm gonna do that okay so thanks for watching this video guys bye, -bye.